Exaltation of the Cross The Power of the Cross in St. Helena's Miraculous Discovery It was a day that would reshape the course of Christian history. In the year 320, St. Helena, the mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine, set out on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land with a singular mission, to find the true cross, the very one on which Jesus Christ was crucified. Her devotion to the faith and her deep desire to preserve the sacred relics of Christianity drove her on this extraordinary journey. Upon arriving in Jerusalem, she was determined to uncover the location of the crucifixion. After consulting with local Christians and with the help of St. Macarius, the Bishop of Jerusalem, St. Helena identified the spot where three crosses had been hidden under the Temple of Venus. According to tradition, one of the crosses was the true cross of Christ, while the others belonged to the thieves crucified alongside him. But how would they know which one was the Lord's? The answer came through this miraculous powerful prayer said by St. Macarius, and the event that followed, he prayed, O Lord, who by the passion of thine only Son on the cross, didst deign to restore salvation to mankind, and who even now hast inspired thy handmaid Helena to seek for the blessed wood to which the author of our salvation was nailed, show clearly which it was, among the three crosses, that was raised for thy glory. Distinguish it from those which only serve for a common execution. Let this woman, who is now expiring, return from death's door as soon as she is touched by the wood of salvation. The dying woman was brought to the scene, and as the crosses were placed near her, she remained gravely ill until she touched the third cross. Upon contact with the true cross, she was healed instantly, confirming its identity as the cross of Christ, as Saint Macarius prayed. In that moment, the true cross became more than a relic. It was a living sign of God's power to heal and save. Saint Helena's discovery was not only a confirmation of the faith, but also a profound reminder of Christ's sacrifice for humanity. In honor of this monumental event, Constantine commissioned the building of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre on the very site of the crucifixion and resurrection. The church was dedicated on September 14, 335 AD, a date that became the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. This feast celebrates not only the discovery of the true cross, but also the transformation of the cross itself. What was once an instrument of death and torture became the symbol of eternal life and salvation. Christians all over the world now venerate the cross as the ultimate expression of Christ's love and sacrifice. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. The cross, however, was not always seen in this light. In the early years of Christianity, the cross was a fearsome symbol of Roman execution. Yet, after Constantine's conversion and his edict of tolerance for Christians, the cross was transformed into a symbol of victory over sin and death. Artists began depicting the cross in Christian art, no longer as a hidden symbol, but as the sign of triumph it had become. Saints throughout history have reflected deeply on the significance of the cross. Saint Faustina once said, In difficult moments, I will fix my gaze upon the silent heart of Jesus stretched on the cross, and from the exploding flames of his merciful heart will flow down upon me power and strength to keep fighting. Her words capture the deep reliance on Christ's sacrifice as the source of strength in times of struggle. Saint Maximilian Kolbe described the cross as the school of love, teaching us that true love is found in self-giving and sacrifice. Saint Francis de Sales too saw the cross as the ultimate symbol of love, proclaiming, Mount Calvary is the mount of lovers. All love that does not take its origin from the Savior's passion is foolish and perilous. Unhappy is love without the Savior's death. Love and death are so mingled in the Savior's passion that we cannot have one in our hearts without the other. In the words of Saint Augustine, the cross is where we encounter the fullness of Christ's love for humanity. As they were looking on, so we too gaze on his wounds as he hangs, we see his blood as he dies. We see the price offered by the Redeemer, touch the scars of his resurrection, he bows his head as if to kiss you. His heart is made bare open as it were in love to you, his arms are extended that he may embrace you, his whole body is displayed for your redemption. The exaltation of the Holy Cross is a feast that invites us to not only honor the historical discovery of the true cross, but to embrace the deeper meaning of the cross in our daily lives.
It calls us to remember that Christ's death on the cross was not an end, but a beginning, the beginning of new life, redemption, and the ultimate victory over death. As we venerate the cross, we are reminded of the powerful mystery of Christ's love. It is in the cross that we find our hope, our strength, and our salvation. Let us, like the saints, fix our gaze on the cross and let its transformative power guide us in love, faith, and sacrifice. Our Lord Jesus Christ, through your life, passion, and resurrection, bless and protect us and our families in your mighty miraculous name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.